In this video, we will show you how to replace your crankshaft position sensor on this Honda Civic. This will be located along the backside of your engine and easily accessed from under the vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we have to do is safely make our way under the center front of the vehicle so we can remove this metal skid shield. For this, you're going to find that you have four Phillips head mounting screws holding it in place. Quick inspection of the hardware as we continue on, replace as necessary. Get this next one up here. Now as you make your way rearward, typically you're going to find that you have small plastic hooks which are attached to the larger shield. They should make their way through this metal shield this one doesn't look like it was in place properly, so we're going to continue on. Make sure this does not fall down and potentially hurt us. Along the backside, there is also two more hooks. That's pretty loose. For the removal of this shield, as I mentioned with those hooks, you actually want to take hold of the shield. We're going to pull it straight rearward to dislodge it. There we are. Now if you were to look up inside this area along the back side of the engine, just in front of your passenger side front axle CV boot here, you're going to find a metal shield. The crankshaft position sensor is located just behind here. The shield itself is held in place with two 10 millimeter headed mounting bolts. The lower one will have to be fully removed. As for the upper bolt, we're only going to loosen it enough that we can slide this shield out of position. Now since the top bolt only needs to be loosened, I'm going to start there and then we'll start removing the lower mounting bolt. For this I'm using a ratcheting 10 millimeter wrench. I'm try to pry it on there with a small screwdriver. Now that I have that bolt loose, let's continue on to the lower bolt. A quick inspection of the hardware as we continue. Let's grab onto that shield, we'll pull it down and out of place. Now with that shield out of the way, let's continue on with our electrical connector. For this, it does have a locking tab. We can see it's facing straight rearward here. Go ahead and press that in. We'll disconnect this. A thorough inspection for corrosion. That looks good. We'll set that aside. Now that we have that separated, if you are looking at the crankshaft position sensor, follow it inboard and then straight up, you're going to find a 10 millimeter headed mounting bolt. Now there's very minimal room in this area to be able to gain access with a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. If you were to spin the axle, you're going to find that the axle itself does have several dimples making their way around. If you spin it in the proper way, you're going to have a little bit more access here. Now essentially what I'm going to try to do is just break this free using my breaker bar and a 10 millimeter socket. It's pretty much the thinnest apparatus I have to use. Once I have it broken free, we'll remove that bolt. There it is. Now that I have that broken free, I'm just going to use my socket and I'll try to remove this by hand. Just want to be careful not to get your socket stuck in here while you're trying to remove that mounting bolt.
The next thing I'll use is an angled pick attempting to pull this straight out and away from the engine. Getting close here. Let's take hold of that sensor and remove it. There it is, friend. Prior to installation, you need to make sure you clean the mounting surface. For this, I'm just using a clean rag. We're going to remove any miscellaneous debris. Never use any parts cleaner in this area. There we are. Okay, it's time to install our brand new crankshaft position sensor. When installing this, we want to make sure we go in straight as possible, not at an angle or off kilter. We do not want to cause any damage. As for that rubber sealing O-ring, go ahead and lubricate it with some clean motor oil. I'm using my pick to press that in as far as possible. We'll double check to make sure it looks as though we're completely seated. At this point, we wanna also align our mounting bolt port. This can be easiest using an angled pick. Just go ahead and put it right through the port on the sensor itself and align it with a threaded port on the engine. Now it's time for installation of our mounting bolt. We've cleaned the threads and inspected them. Let's start it in, snug it up. The torque for this, if you can get a torque wrench in here, is nine foot pounds. Since it's a very small bolt, realistically, just go ahead and bottom it out and then take it a tiny bit further, snugging it. Okay, I've got it started in. Let's go ahead and snug it up. Okay, right there is bottomed out. I'm just gonna take it a tiny bit further here. Double check, make sure it's secured in place. After confirming that that's tight, whether you torqued it or you snugged it, we're going to continue on with reconnecting our electrical connector. See that connector there? There really isn't very much to see as you're doing this here. Just wanna to try to press that in, listen for a click. Just double check, make sure that's secured so you don't have a running condition or a check engine light. Now it's time for our shield. We're going to take this and we'll slide the upper mounting point in and behind that mounting bolt that we left loose. After that, align the lower mounting bolt port and start in that mounting bolt. Once you've completed that, go ahead and snug them both up. Okay, I'm underneath that bolt head there. Bottomed out, just a tiny bit further. Now let's get that upper mounting bolt. Okay. Double check, make sure your protective shield is properly in place. Now we can get this shield in place. As we bring it up, there's going to be several areas to pay attention to. Along the front, we're going to have to bring one corner up and in here. The other one's going to go up inside this slot. As we start bringing this up, we're also going to be paying attention to each one of our mounting hooks. So let's slide this in. Okay, this is looking pretty good. You may have to flex on that upper shield if necessary. Just reach up along the top. Should help you slide it in. Okay, that's that side. I'm gonna pay attention on this side. Typically when this isn't hanging down like this, it's a lot easier to get everything properly aligned. That feels good. Get these screws in. Right 
there's bottomed out just a little bit further here. Obviously, we do want to make sure that we can get these back out for our next service. Last one. Okay friend, we finished our installation. Make your way safely out from under the vehicle. Start it up, let your engine run. Make sure you don't feel any odd vibrations and no odd noises, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.